business email compromise is a tantalizing target for hackers, right? So if you can take over an account of somebody who is in the process of carrying out some kind of business transaction and you can you know uh, fool or otherwise dupe somebody into paying you when they should be paying somebody else uh well that's just you know uh, i've seen this happen time and time again even before i was at huntress I, I saw this happen um even to my friends you know and and you would hear uh stories of how they would say you know i thought i was talking to them in my email and and lo and behold, I wire the money and then they empty my account and that's uh that's where we're at now. So uh business email compromise, big problem, but business email compromise is a a a final uh action, or not maybe not necessarily final, but it is later in the attack chain, right? And so if we rewind the tape a little bit, we've got to look at how threat actors are compromising identities and getting into these environments in the first place, and then other little you know, stops along the way is maybe how do they persist? How do they execute against the environment?